G'day and welcome to another video with Betterpix. Hope this finds you all well. Today we're having a look at the new adjust color options with the use of AI within Adobe Photoshop. And there's some great tools in there uh, and it certainly gives you a new option on how to select specific colors and make adjustments based on those colors. All right, let's have a look at a few images. We've got a sunrise shot down at the beach. We've got an aerial shot also at the beach uh, on the Gold Coast there, but shot closer to the middle of the day. And the last one is a landscape that I photographed in the Himalayas quite a few years ago now. All right, let's start off with this one. And if we look at the contextual taskbar, now if you can't see this, all you need to do is go to Window, down the very bottom, and make sure Contextual Taskbar is selected. You can see up on the contextual taskbar that we have the option for adjust colors. And if we hover over it, you can see it says change the prominent colors in your image to get a whole new look. If we click on that one, you'll see that it will go through a little process of detecting the colors. And we're just going to move that taskbar up there. And we're just going to pin that bar position so that it stays there. And you can see it comes up with one, two, three, four, five, six of the most dominant colors that are in the image. And what it's done, if we just open up our layers uh, tab or panel there, you can see that it's created a new hue saturation layer. And if we click on properties, you can see that we've got the options there to make adjustments to those colors, all right? But we can also actually do it up here on the contextual taskbar. Now, if we click on one of those colors, you can see that hue, saturation, and lightness pops up. Now, I've selected that first one. If we do a hue adjustment, you can see because that color is affecting pretty much all of the image, we can make an adjustment there. Now with this image, a lot of the colors are bleeding into each other because there's obviously, you know, a very warm tone or warm feel uh, to this image. So pretty much all of those colors are going to be equally affected across the whole image. If we have a look at an image like this one where there's definitely different colors and we select on adjust colors, we can see the difference there, particularly with the vegetation and the, the color of the ocean and color of the sky. So if we select that vegetation and we adjust our hue, you can see as expected, those original brownish sort of green colors are uh, being adjusted with a hue. We can also select saturation, remove or add color. These are obviously extreme adjustments, so just keep that in mind. They may not be the adjustments that I would normally make. And obviously we've got lightness as well, so to make that part of the image darker and brighter. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna double click to return those to the starting point. And you can see if we select like the green option there, that's gonna be the bulk of the ocean. You can see the sky is being affected a little bit. Uh, but it allows us to make those adjustments, which is really interesting. If we select more of a blue option, you can see it's having a bigger effect on the sky. Now, it's having some effect on the ocean, but it's certainly allowing us to adjust those colors uh, on the sky. Now, traditionally, we would have a hue saturation adjustment layer available. If we just go to adjustments, you can see that we have hue saturation right there. Uh, but this allows us to generate that hue saturation adjustment based on the colors in the image. And if we go to that last image, we can have a look at these colors. Again, there's some very strong blues, but also some really strong browns. If we select those browns, we can adjust that hue. Now, again, these are extreme adjustments, but for the purely for the purposes of demonstration, we can make no hue adjustment, but we can make a saturation adjustment. So we can increase the intensity of those colors or decrease and make that section brighter or darker. So plenty of options there for our images. All right, so if we select that darker blue down the right-hand side, you can see when we make that hue adjustment, it's affecting a larger portion of the image. Again, the same with saturation, with intensity uh, of colors, either reducing or increasing. So as you can see, it's a great way to be able to select from the six most prominent colors based on what's in your image. Obviously, Photoshop goes through a detecting sort of phase where it detects what those most prominent colors are, and you're able to make those hue, saturation, and lightness adjustments. Now, if you want to get rid of that layer, just like any other adjustment layer, you can see if we look at our layers panel there, uh, there's a hue, saturation, adjustment layer that's been generated with that uh, adjust colors option. We can just simply click and drag that down 
down onto the trash can and it gets rid of that adjustment layer. So if you wanted to go back on that same image and adjust colors, you can do it again. And you can see that hue saturation layer is back there. Again, just selecting the colors that we want to make adjustments to and we can go from there. So really easy to use, really straightforward and a great tool uh, to be able to select specific colors and make adjustments to those colors or to those portions uh, of your image. So definitely worth checking out. All right, so I hope you found this video to be helpful. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. Have a bit of an experiment. It's always the best way to learn. Select a few images with different colors in them and go through that process of adjusting colors using AI, the tool that's now available in Adobe Photoshop. Any questions, as I mentioned, are always welcome below and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.